Do you know the difference between narcissism and schizoid personality disorder? This question opens up a fascinating exploration into two distinct and complex mental health conditions. Both narcissism, often seen in the form of narcissistic personality disorder and schizoid personality disorder, are intricate tapestries of human psychology, each with their own distinct characteristics. At first glance, they might seem to share some superficial similarities. But as we peel back the layers, we find that their underlying motivations and expressions diverge significantly. Narcissism is often characterized by grandiosity and self-importance, while schizoid personality disorder is marked by a deep-seated detachment from social relationships. But these are just the tip of the iceberg. Beneath the surface, a myriad of other traits and behaviors shape these two disorders, making them unique in their own right. Dive in with us as we explore the fascinating world of these two distinct mental health conditions. Imagine the world revolving around you. This is often the reality for those grappling with narcissistic personality disorder, or NPD, a complex mental health disorder characterized by grandiosity, lack of empathy, a need for control, and superficial relationships. At the core of NPD is an inflated sense of self-importance. Individuals with this disorder believe they are superior to others, often exuding an air of grandiosity that can be both captivating and confusing. They see themselves as the sun, radiating brilliance, and expect others to orbit around them, basking in their glow. This can lead to a continuous quest for admiration and validation, a hunger that seldom gets satiated. However, beneath this dazzling surface often lies a startling lack of empathy. Narcissists may struggle to understand or even acknowledge the feelings and needs of others. They may be dismissive, even insensitive, viewing people as mere satellites serving their needs. This lack of empathy can lead to manipulative and exploitative behavior, further isolating them within their self-made solar system. A strong need for control is another characteristic of NPD. Narcissists feel compelled to dictate their environment and the people within it. They may resort to manipulation, dominance, and even anger when their world doesn't align with their expectations. This need for control is a desperate attempt to maintain their grandiose self-image and avoid any perceived threats to their superiority. Lastly, narcissists often maintain superficial relationships. Their connections with others are primarily based on their own needs for admiration and validation. Once a person ceases to serve their purpose, they may be quickly discarded, much like an old dimming star that no longer contributes to their brilliance. In essence, narcissists live in a world where they are the sun and everything else orbits around them. But remember, this is a simplified explanation of a complex disorder. The reality of MPD is multifaceted and individual experiences can vary widely. Always seek professional advice if you are concerned about yourself or someone else. Now, picture a world where solitude is preferred over social interactions. This is often the reality for individuals with schizoid personality disorder, or SPD. At the heart of SPD is a profound detachment from social relationships. These individuals tend to be introverted, preferring their own company over the company of others. It is not born out of fear or anxiety, but rather a lack of interest in social interactions. They find solace in their solitude, often leading them to live lives that are self-contained and private. Alongside a preference for solitude, there's a characteristic limited range of emotional expression. People with SPD may appear emotionally flat or indifferent. This isn't to say they don't experience emotions. Rather, they may have difficulty expressing these emotions outwardly, creating a perception of emotional aloofness. Aloofness extends beyond emotional expression and into behavior. Individuals with SPD often present as withdrawn, detached, and focused on their inner world. This aloofness can sometimes manifest as eccentric behavior, as these individuals may not conform to typical social norms. They may have unusual interests or hobbies that further set them apart from societal expectations. But in these idiosyncrasies, there's a rich inner life. Individuals with SPD often have a vivid world of fantasy and daydreaming. These internal narratives may serve as a form of self-entertainment or even as a way to compensate for the lack of social interactions that mark their lives. It's not escapism, but a unique way of engaging with their personal experiences. But remember, 
These characteristics are not definitive of every person with schizoid personality disorder. They are tendencies, not absolutes. Each individual with SPD is unique, their experience is shaped by a myriad of factors. In summary, SPD is characterized by a preference for solitude, limited emotional expression, aloof and eccentric behavior, and a rich inner world of fantasy. It is a complex disorder, often misunderstood due to its insular nature. Schizoid individuals live in a world that they often prefer to navigate alone. It's a world that may seem strange to many, but for them, it's simply their reality. These two worlds may seem similar, but they are fundamentally different. When we delve into the nuanced worlds of narcissism and schizoid personality disorder, we uncover a labyrinth of motivations, expressions, and ways of relating to others that set them apart. Let's begin with motivation. At the heart of narcissistic personality disorder is a voracious need for admiration and validation. Narcissists long to be seen, recognized, and praised. They are driven by an inflated sense of self-importance and a belief in their own superiority. On the other hand, individuals with schizoid personality disorder demonstrate a starkly contrasting motivation. Their inner lives are characterized by a profound need for privacy and solitude. Social interaction often holds little appeal for them, and they may even find it uncomfortable or distressing. Now, let's consider empathy. Narcissists are notorious for their lack of empathy. They struggle to understand or consider the feelings and needs of others, often dismissing or exploiting them to serve their own purposes. In contrast, schizoid individuals don't necessarily lack empathy. Their challenge lies more in expressing emotions or connecting with others on an emotional level. This can create the impression of emotional coldness or indifference, but it doesn't mean they are incapable of understanding others' feelings. Next, we look at relationships. Narcissists are often drawn to superficial relationships that serve their need for admiration and validation. They may manipulate and exploit others, discarding them when they no longer serve their purposes. Schizoid individuals, however, avoid relationships not out of a need for control or manipulation, but due to a genuine lack of interest or discomfort. They may prefer their own company over the company of others, and their relationships, if they have them, are often characterized by a certain level of detachment and aloofness. Lastly, let's examine expression. Narcissists often exhibit flamboyant or attention-seeking behavior. They may be domineering, prone to anger or rage, and always seeking to control their environment and the people around them. In contrast, schizoid individuals are typically withdrawn and aloof. They may seem detached, preoccupied with their own inner world, and often indifferent to the social norms and expectations of the world around them. So, while both narcissism and schizoid personality disorder might share some superficial similarities, their underlying motivations and expressions are strikingly distinct. Narcissism is fueled by a need for admiration and control, while schizoid personality disorder is characterized by a desire for solitude and a certain level of emotional detachment. Despite the surface similarities, the motivations and expressions of narcissists and schizoid individuals are strikingly distinct. Understanding these disorders isn't as simple as checking off a list of characteristics. Now that we've taken a closer look at both narcissistic and schizoid personality disorders, let's distill the essential points we've covered. Narcissism, characterized by grandiosity and self-importance, manifests as an inflated sense of one's own worth, often coupled with a lack of empathy. Narcissists typically have a strong need for control, seeking validation and admiration from superficial relationships that can be manipulative and exploitative. On the other hand, Schizoid personality disorder is distinguished by a deep-seated detachment from social relationships. Individuals with SPD often exhibit limited emotional expression, aloofness, eccentric behavior, and a tendency towards fantasy and daydreaming. Unlike narcissists, they may not necessarily lack empathy, but may struggle to express emotions or connect with others emotionally. Key differences between these disorders lie in the motivations driving them, the nature of relationships formed, and the ways in which they are expressed. Narcissists are driven by a need for admiration and validation, seeking superficial relationships, and often exhibiting flamboyant or attention-seeking behavior. 
In contrast, those with schizoid personality disorder are motivated by a desire for solitude and privacy, avoiding relationships and presenting as more withdrawn and aloof. However, it's crucial to remember that both narcissistic personality disorder and schizoid personality disorder are complex and multifaceted. The descriptions we've discussed are general and individual experiences can greatly vary. Diagnosing these or any mental health conditions should never be a self-guided endeavor. It requires the expertise of qualified professionals. If you or someone you know exhibits characteristics we've discussed, it's important to seek professional advice. Mental health professionals can provide a proper diagnosis and guide you towards suitable treatment options. Remember, mental health is a journey, not a destination. It's okay to ask for help. Stigma should never stand in the way of reaching out and taking steps towards improved mental health. The journey towards understanding and managing these conditions continues, and it's a path that no one needs to walk alone.